Well, all charges are dropped against the remaining officers in the Freddie Gray case. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Patricia Velo. And I'm Denise Douglas. That story in a moment. But first, we are continuing our coverage of the Democratic National Convention, which is taking place in Philadelphia. Hillary Clinton made history on Tuesday night, becoming the first female presidential nominee of a major party. On day three, the theme is working together, which highlights Hillary's experience bringing people together to tackle issues. Now, the top speakers tonight will be President Obama and a number of others will take the stage. And Rochelle Metzger's going to have more on this for us in a few minutes. In the meantime, as Hillary Clinton made history last night, a Maryland woman known for breaking barriers herself played a key role in that process. Barbara Mikulski spent 10 years in Congress before being elected to the Senate in 1986. Since then, she's fought for women's issues, including equal pay, health care, and co-sponsoring the groundbreaking Violence Against Women Act. The longtime Clinton supporter delivers a speech before nominating the former Senate colleague of hers. You break barriers. I broke a barrier when I became the first Democratic woman elected in the Senate in her own right and the first to chair the powerful Appropriations Committee. If you were to uh, compare us to, say, a football team, uh, Senator McCulsey has been a quarterback. She has been the one who has created the strategy. She is the one who orchestrates the execution, and she is one who has the vision. Barbara Mikulski has been a force uh, in both Maryland politics and national politics. Uh, for a very long time. Uh, she's beloved throughout Maryland and around the country. Uh, even before the last Star Wars movie came out, I always said that if Barbara Mikulski is with you, the Force is with you. This giant of a woman, small in stature, but a giant of a woman, who has uh, made it possible for us to achieve so much, not only on the federal level, but bringing things back home to the state. Uh, she's invaluable. And so, Mikulski will retire next year after 30 years in the Senate. That is longer than any woman in history has spent in the Senate. She's expected to speak again at the convention Thursday night. Well, Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby says, quote, the system is in need of reform. This after her office dropped all charges against three remaining police officers accused in the death of Freddie Gray. Officers Brian Rice, Edward Nero, and Cesar Goodson were all acquitted. Officer William Porter's trial ended in a mistrial. Gray died after suffering from spinal cord injuries in the back of a police van in April 2015. His death sparked protests across the city. Well, the man who attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan will be free after 35 years. 61-year-old John Hinckley Jr. is set to be released from a government psychiatric hospital on August 5th. He shot Reagan and three others outside of the Washington Hilton Hotel on March 30th, 1981. Hinckley will be allowed to live with his elderly mother in Williamsburg, Virginia. There will be dozens of temporary treatments and monitoring conditions that he will have to adhere to following the release. Well, listen up, Redline riders. Metro's latest maintenance work will impact your commute in a major way. Delays of up to one hour are expected in both directions when surge 6 and 7 begin on August 1st. Commuters are being asked to find alternate routes for the first few weeks of August. The work will affect the entire red line, which carries the second highest number of passengers who use the transit system. Ah, sounds like... Uh, you better think ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're watching CTV News. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Patricia Vallone.